Thousands of anti-government demonstrators have broken through police barricades in Bangkok. Now, they started a sit-in protest outside Parliament. That's where a special two-day session is underway to decide the fate of constitutional changes. The protesters are continuing their calls for government and monarchy reforms. Well, May Wong joins us right now from Bangkok. Well, May, quite a different scenario from when we last chatted. The crowd appears to be dissipating. Are they basically calling it a day? Pretty much as quickly as it kicked off earlier, it also quickly calmed down. The minute they actually managed to break through the barricades and end up right in front of Parliament House, right here in this field. Initially, this place was packed with the anti-government protesters and the leaders started to speak and criticise the government for what has uh, what they've been doing and also criticise the parliamentarians for not making a decisive move on choosing which constitutional amendment to go with inside the House. Now, they have decided to disperse for the night because, number one, they said that they don't want any more violence because they have never gone down that route. They want to protest peacefully and just to get their voices heard from outside of Parliament. They never intended to break into Parliament to begin with. And so the leaders are saying that the protesters wanted to be out here because they just want the parliamentarians to take their voices and their opinions into consideration. However, they've decided to disperse and also to regroup again on Wednesday, not here in front of Parliament House, but actually to regroup downtown Bangkok, right in front of the Central World Mall, where they normally gather at Rajaprasong. And that is a place where they are planning to meet tomorrow at 4 p.m. local time. Even though though the protesters have left for the night, well, the police are still very much in play here because they are continuing to protect the Parliament House. The parliamentarians are still sitting inside a joint session as the MPs continue to discuss and debate over which of the seven bills that they want to decide and choose to make sure that they can actually achieve some sort of a constitutional amendment. So things are still ongoing right now. Presumably, the MPs are expected to perhaps knock off in a couple of hours, but who knows, maybe they'll continue, maybe they will actually call it a night later on, and then also continue to resume their sitting tomorrow on Wednesday. Now remember, on Wednesday, they're also expected to cast their ballots and their votes in terms of deciding which of the seven constitutional amendments they will choose. Now, very, very contentious given the fact that the House is very divided with members of Parliament can't agree on which particular option would be the best and also to appease the crowd. Obviously, you've got the pro-government ruling party members of parliament who say do not touch the constitution when you're dealing with chapters regarding the monarchy. Also for the fact that they say the senators should continue to be in play here. Remember here in Thailand, the senators that make up 250 out of the 750 in the house, they are all appointed by the government and not elected by the people. That is a really, really sore point with the government, or excuse me, with the anti-government protesters because they demand that every member of parliament inside the house should be elected by the citizens. So that already in itself goes to show that there is a massive disagreement. And yet the opposition parties, they are calling for more radical changes to the constitution. They want to actually push the boundaries and ask for the senators to be removed and also to curb the powers of the senators. For example, not allowing the senators to vote for the prime minister. Remember, the senators voted in the parliament to choose a prime minister and hence extending the prime ministership of Prayut chan where he actually staged a coup back in 2014 in order to govern this country. And now he remains the prime minister of Thailand despite an election last year. So all of these are things that the anti-government protesters are criticizing and they want to see real reform in their words. And they say that they're dispersing tonight on Tuesday night and moving on to Wednesday because they say, you know what, the senators, some of them have already left the House because of the situation out here and whatever they decide in the House, if any of the parliamentarians decide to vote against the people's constitutional amendment demands, they are betraying the citizens of this country. And that's the reason why we're seeing the protesters now starting to back off and resume again and regroup again on Wednesday. Yeah, May, you mentioned that the anti-government protesters are disbanding for tonight and that they didn't intend 
uh, for any sort of violent situation to occur in front of the Parliament House. We do know, though, that you know water cannons and tear gas were dispersed earlier today. Uh, are we expecting uh, things to sort of flare up tomorrow? Hopefully not. The scenario was never expected today in terms of the police firing water cannons at the protesters and also firing tear gas at the protesters. The police justified their actions saying that they had warned the protesters time and again to back off and not to try to break through and come closer to Parliament House because the parliamentarians are in a meeting in a joint session. However, the protesters argue that what they are doing is not violent at all because the protesters say all they want to do is to come in front of Parliament House to stage a protest in a peaceful manner to get their voices heard inside. Now also remember that almost two months ago when the parliamentarians had the same discussion in the House, the protesters were allowed to be right out here in front of Parliament House and that's the reason why they question why the sudden stepped up security situation today to deal with the protesters. They don't understand why the police needed to go to to that extent in order to disperse the crowd. But as you can tell earlier as well, the protesters are not going to back off and they are determined to make their voices heard and also to make their demands heard because they say this is enough. They are tired of this system here in Thailand and they want the government to show sincerity as well as the fact that they are ready to show some kind of real reform and real change to the constitution. Remember also, tonight the protesters have again made their three demands heard loud and clear. One, for Prime Minister Prayut chan to quit for the change in the constitution and entire overhaul of the charter and finally to reform the monarchy. Obviously, earlier in the day, we saw the yellow shirts, the royalists coming out to complain about this call for reform of the monarchy. They say that the monarchy is the most sacred on this land and that it must never be touched. And that's the reason why the yellow shirts also had a little bit of altercation with the anti-government protesters. But thankfully, the police were around to keep them separated in terms of the two groups. However, I do understand that earlier as well, even though I didn't see it with my own eyes, but I understand that police have actually fired rubber bullets at the anti-government protesters and some of them have landed themselves in the hospital. So we will have to see whether or not this situation is going to escalate further when they regroup again on Wednesday, downtown Bangkok. Yeah, thanks very much, May. Look forward to your coverage tomorrow as well. Good stuff as always. May Wong from outside Parliament House in Bangkok.